Welcome back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked on what has been an enlightening Health Tuesday focus. We now move inwards. World Mental Health Day, which was observed on Sunday last, provides an opportunity for everyone working on mental health issues to talk about their work and what more needs to be done to make mental health care a reality for people worldwide now more than ever. We need it, certainly after the last 18 months. And a local organization hoping to raise awareness on these issues is ASA Magazine, who are in collaboration with artist Farai Engelbrecht. Now, ASA founder Reynold Age is here to tell us about the campaign and the importance of looking after your mental health. Because it's okay not to be okay after everything we've experienced. Right, yeah. Reynold, thank you so much. Welcome thank to the you show. So much. Great to have you here, my friend. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Well, as founder of ASA Magazine, give us a little bit of an insight of what ASA is all about. Are we saying it right? Is it is it Asa? Is it ASA? It's Asha. 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 Yeah. Asha. Yeah. Asha. yeah. Okay. But your gorgeous accent does sound a lot, <laughs> a lot more Much romantic. Better. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> so yeah. what is Asha all about? I mean, Asha is a, an online magazine created around love, around culture and passion. Of course, you got to love the culture, you know? And that's why we're bringing industry leaders together and showcasing them and, you know, encourage artists to be audacious about their creation. You know, just like Farah Engelbert, Samara Farah, that's why I love to call him. Um, <laughs> And also, you know, we want people to know it's okay to be in your space, do what you love. You know, it's not all about money, it's about the quality of what you do, the value yeah. you give to people and the value it means to you. We want, you know, fashion lovers to, you know, set the trend. It's okay if you want to follow the current trend, set your own trend and people will definitely follow you, you know? And um, yeah, we, we want to push, we want to push people forward to, to do what they love and, you know, get a stance in it. You know, don't, it's okay not to be okay, but you still got a value. You know, you still need to value people around you. So for me, Asher is more like a family. It's more like a community. You it's know, we tribe, embrace yeah. people. Yeah, that's what the culture is all about. Yeah. I absolutely love that. Why? We all think about this, and especially within the creative fold. I think we've, we've yeah. just been on this journey talking to creatives, music makers, artists, people. I think you have an opportunity to do a lot of process work as you create, which is mm -hmm. great. For you personally, why do this? What was the tipping point in your life that led you to this, this kind of brave step? Um, growing up, we met a lot of people who were in as privileged as we were, and also were in as privileged as people were. You know, all this played with our mental. Mm -hmm. It took us time to realize that it's okay to start from where you're starting from. Yeah. You know, you just have to work harder, you just have to push, just have to live every day the way it comes through. And I have had friends who have suffered from mental health, illness, and because the awareness wasn't there, so they thought it was something like, um, they thought it was something scary. So they had to put up a facade, yeah. you know, faking smiles and saying it was okay. And I, for one, I'm a person that, you know, I want to look after people around me. I want to know what you're going through. So I ask a lot of questions. Are you okay? <laughs> you know, I, I want to see you smile. And really if you don't it, smile, yeah. and if you don't smile, if you fake the smile, I would know. Mm. I want to really know what's, what's happening with you. Because I could, I could have a lot of things that I'm going through, but I could know how to walk through it. Mm -hmm. You know, I could know how to take my mind off it and don't think about it. I could vent. I vent a lot when I'm going through stress. I have people I could vent to, you know. I could just listen to my music. I go for boxing lessons. I could vent through that yeah. way. But not everyone knows about that. Some people are just um, inside their, their, their feelings. They, they get in their feelings and they don't know what to do, you know, because they're scared to share it out with other people because of what people are going to say, who's going to mock you and who's not going to mock you. But first, we have to realize that it really doesn't matter who mocks you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It matters how you feel. If you could vent, if you could, you know, get distracted off that feeling, it's just going to wear off with time. And it's so so we want to create that awareness for people to know it's okay to be the way you are. I it's love okay. That, it's very, very much okay. I mean, for the, if, you, if you check the statistics, 16.5% of youths and adults have been suffering from mental health. 
with the whole COVID pandemic and all of that. And 17% of children have, are suffering from mental health. You see a kid and you don't just pay attention to the kid because you feel they don't go through anything. Yeah, they're not but they're that actually complex. humans, they've got feelings, you know. No matter how little, they might be bullied and that really plays with their mental. They might be molested and we just have to um, um, normalize this dialogue. You know, just Take normalize this away. dialogue. Yeah. That's oh, well, you, you're taking massive leaps forward in doing that. I love you, man. Thank you very <laughs> I much. I love you, guys. <laughs> I, I can feel the love. I uh, absolutely love the fact that we are talking about this because that's where it all begins. Mm. We're going to continue this discussion and bring you some thought provoking art in just a moment. Stick around. It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked. Oh, the show is racing past, so we're going to try and put the brakes on a little bit and really savour the moment here. World Mental Health Day was observed on Sunday, as we said earlier, and now more than ever, mental health is a topic of discussion, thankfully, and one that everyone should take seriously. I think certainly in underserved communities, it's an area where we really need to focus. Here in South Africa, the latest studies show that one third, one third of South Africans suffer from mental mental illness and 75% of them won't receive any kind of therapy or support. Mm. I mean, it's scary to know that those are the numbers, right? Be today, that's why we're deciding, let's shine the spotlight on this conversation. We chat to fine artist Farai Engelbrecht, AKA Samurai Farai, about creating awareness and mindfulness, which is very important, around mental health issues, suicide, depression, anxiety, through creativity and art. It's such a beautiful conversation, but such beautiful work you're doing for Rai. Good morning, it's good to see you. Good morning, guys. Thank you so much for having me. Love your smile, dude. You've Thank been you. smiling nonstop the since you walked time. into the <laughs> studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a tonic in yourself. The artwork is absolutely stunning. Thank you so much. I, I was saying, this guy might be coming home animal? with me. This is my spirit animal right over yeah. there. Um, this is a, a wonderful way to spread a message, and we love what Asha is doing as, a, as a, a magazine and putting it out there into the world. But from a personal perspective, there's got to be a motivator here for you. Why mental health? Why is this such a, an important narrative in your life? Well, Graham, personally, it's really important in my life because it's something that I s struggle with um, every day and have my entire life for as long as I can remember. Um, creativity was the only thing that I was able to use that would actually help me escape or kind of soothe or find a way to heal myself. Mm. So it was a very interesting um, journey to arrive at where I am now using art to heal myself. And it's really important. I think I'm at a point in my career where I can use my art to encourage people to heal themselves through creativity as well. Yeah. So Just to start that conversation. Is, yeah, definitely. The, the thing is, and it sounds like you've been able to channel, I suppose, you know, your issues and your challenges in a way that is quite expressive, but it must come from somewhere. Your upbringing uh, must have influenced the way that you've been able to turn to art and creativity as an outlet. Tell us a bit about that. Well, my upbringing was very much polarized. I grew up with an Afrikaans mother and a father from Zimbabwe. So I always lived in this life of duality and mm. you know, having the surname I have, Engelbrecht, uh, people could never really place me. Um, so I never felt like I could just fit in. Um, I was always really different, always really um, unique. And one thing I loved to do was draw and paint and Going through all of that, um, I was able to get a full bursary to UCT and using wow. my art. And when I first started art, I never thought that it would land me here. I never mm. thought that I'd be using it to speak or bring awareness towards mental health. Mm. But a lot of my upbringing was filled with a lot of pain and trauma, you know, um, just like a lot of kids in this country. Such a South African narrative. Yeah, yeah, and I think I'm very blessed and lucky that I'm able to traverse and elevate myself through creativity, and I guess that's kind of my narrative. I love it. Know? It's taking your story and turning it into your magic, because that really is what it is. I love that. And, and the artwork is beautiful. Yeah. Thank and, you. And in a moment, you can inspire a person. You can change the way that they see themselves, see the world. Absolutely beautiful. I'm just 
thinking about the cost of your artwork climbing as you sit here on TV talking about it. Man, I should have got in before we started the segment, <laughs> man. The I had rush. an opportunity here. Uh, Farai, we're going to keep you in studio just to chat a little bit more and you can talk us through some of this beautiful artwork. But thank you for doing what you're doing every thank day. You. There is a, a hashtag, fight the facade, is that right? Face your facade. Face your facade. Yes, I love that now is the time not just on world mental health day but every day strip it away face that facade and live an authentic life and there is a community out there clearly ready to embrace you